The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we prepare for this coming Sunday, April the 24th. It is the second Sunday of Easter. We've just got done celebrating Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday on the 17th. And now this coming Sunday, the 24th of April, is the second Sunday of Easter. The theme that ties our three readings together for this coming Sunday is that you may believe and have life in his name. Of course, the word of the Lord, all of God's words are written that you may believe and have life in his name. So let us pray together, hear God's word together. Pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Here the first reading, it comes from the book of Acts, the fifth chapter, verses 12 through 20. Now many signs and wonders were regularly done among the people by the hands of the apostles, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared join them, but the people held them in high esteem. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats, that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. But the high priest rose up, and all who were with him, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in public prison. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out, and said, Go and stand in the temple, and speak to the people all the words of this life. So far the word of the Lord. Now next, our second reading comes from John's Revelation, the Revelation of St. John, the first chapter, verses 4 through 18. Revelation 1, 4 through 18. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Elf and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, your brother and partner in the tribulation and the kingdom and the patient endurance that are in Jesus, was on the island called Patmos on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, saying, Write what you see in a book, and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, and to Samaria, and to Pergamum, and to Tharita, and to Sardis, and to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me, and on turning I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the lamp stands one like a son of man, clothed with a long robe and with a golden sash around his chest. The hairs of his head were white, like white wool, like snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze, refined in a furnace. And his voice was like the roar of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars. From his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword. And his face was like sun shining in full strength. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead, but he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not. I am the first and the last, and the living one. I died, and behold, I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and Hades. So far, the word of the Lord. Now, lastly, for this second Sunday of Easter, the Gospel is from the Gospel of St. John, the 20th chapter, verses 19 through 31. The Gospel of John, the 20th chapter, verses 19 through 31. 
On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me. Even so, I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you withhold forgiveness from any, it is withheld. Now Thomas, one of the, twin, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my finger into the mark of the nails and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them, although the doors were locked. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it into my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. And that is the Gospel of John, the 20th chapter, verses 19 through 31. Remember, the theme is what I just, the words I just read there, that you may believe and have life in his name. On the Lord's Day, we know St. John the Apostle was given this revelation of Jesus Christ, the incarnate Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Jesus, the Christ, he is the living one, the firstborn of the dead. And he died for all people. And behold, he is alive forevermore. Therefore, he has the keys. As it said in the book of Revelation, he has the keys of death and Hades. For his death atoned for sin and conquered death. And in his resurrection, he opened the kingdom of God to all believers the sharp two-edged sword that came from his mouth calls you to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that you, that you, by such faith, may have life in his name. To that end, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ sends out into the world ministers of the word as the Father sent him to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Let us pray. The prayer of the day for this second Sunday of Easter. Almighty God, grant that we who have celebrated the Lord's resurrection may by your grace confess in our life and conversation that Jesus is Lord and God. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>